2.7. What's my motivation? One of the things that is often said about plotting sitcoms is that you should chase your character up a tree and throw rocks at them. It's good general advice, but I have a different version. After all, if we're being literal, we could have our character suddenly chased by an angry dog, and now our character is trapped up a tree. That's fine, albeit a little cliched, but being stuck up a tree with a dog isn't a story. It's a character reacting to an event. It's not that interesting or satisfying, comically, unless, of course, the character has engaged the dog or refuses to believe that there is a dog until the last moment. And why is today the worst day to be stuck up a tree? How could our character have avoided this situation? And why did they choose to climb a tree when it's obviously going to be difficult to get down? Let's be less literal for a moment. You, as the author of your show and the lord of your universe, the master of your domain, can send all kinds of calamity on your characters. You can set their house on fire, take away their life savings, kill their pets or humiliate them in any way you choose. But these stories are not as pleasing as the stories where they set their own house on fire, ruin their own finances and kill their own pets. Tip, don't kill animals in a sitcom. Viewers hate that. In movies, rules are different for some reason. Apparently it's fine if they paid nine quid and are eating their own weight in popcorn. But you need to give your characters a reason for setting their house on fire. So here's my version of that general advice. Give your character a really good reason to do something as stupid as climb a tree and give your other characters good reasons to throw rocks at them. It may be your characters are not helping you here. You've got a great long list of ideas, but your characters feel passive in these stories. They're giving you nothing, in which case you might have a duff character and you need to go back to the drawing board. You need to know what they want and how that differs from what they actually need. All is not lost, but making extreme stuff happen is not going to help at this stage. Small steps. The trick is to lead your character through a story step by step, stage by stage, so that the high point is ridiculous, and yet not one step on that journey has been unbelievable or out of character. Every beat is motivated, nothing just happens. The character has a quest, and they take action in the wrong way, which makes it worse. To remedy this, they do something else in the right way, but it's too late now. They've solved one problem but created another bigger one. Then they try to make their situation better or undo all that has gone before and to take extreme measures. It's the giraffe costume. Or breaking into your own house and setting off the burger alarm for which you don't know the code. You get the idea.